Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Macrium Reflect to clone Windows 10 in 2024. So we're delving into the process of using Macrium Reflect, a powerful disk imaging and cloning tool to clone Windows 10 or even 11. Whether you're upgrading your hard drive or creating a backup, stick around as I guide you through the steps of using Macrium Reflect to clone your Windows 10 in 2024. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you do so, just go and open that browser and go to the CRL section and to begin, of course, you'll have to download and install the Macrium Reflect from their official website. So go to the CRL section, just type Macrium Reflect and hit the enter button. This will take you here. Click on their first link, of course, to get their free trials unless you have already a plan. And in here is an example, of course, this is going to be like basically their home screen or main screen. Of course, if you have an account, if you have a plan, like just go here and click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account and you know nothing, first of all, like about it, so you can simply scroll down to read more information about this, first of all. And yeah, after that, of course, you can go here and click on get started for a business solution. If you have a business or if you want to use this for your business or you can use it for a home solution, of course, to get started there. You can click in here to find out more about Reflex. If you know nothing about this, as you can see, you'll be able to do instance uh, virtualization for everyone, automatic partition resizing, removable flash media and EX FAT support, empowered UI, Windows Rift support, and intra daily backups. So simply, if you want to create an account, choose if you want to use it to get started at home or your business. For me, I'll just choose at home in here. And as you can see, you can buy it right now or start using your 13 days free trial. So for me, I'll just use this 13 days free trial. I'll choose the number of the bit that you have in your PC. For me, I'll just choose this. And of course, if you want to tell if your computer is running uh, 32 bits or as an example, of course, you'll need it like in here. 32 bits or 64 you can simply go to settings open your settings after that you can go to system so basically you can type us in here or click in here this for windows 11 for windows 10 it will be the same then you can go to about and at the right of course in here you will find it where exactly here on the device specification as you can see system type I have 64 for you if you have 32 just choose 32 so here of course for just train we'll have to start entering our name so i'll just go with first name like this last name like this i'll just use this email for instance at gmail.com of course this is to download it uh, if you have it already downloaded you will not have to go through all of this Make sure that your password has all of them green in here. And I would like to keep uh, me up to date with news. So if you want to receive email, just click on yes. If you don't, click on no and click on register. But as you can see, they have options to sign up with Google or Microsoft if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in or even creating your account. So for me, I'll just go here, wherever, low, and yeah, click on sign up in here. And I'll just choose the account, this one, click on continue. Of course, make sure to read the privacy policy and everything. And yeah, click on register. If you want to receive those, just go and hit yes or no, whatever you want. And yeah, so as you can see, you will be able here to find Reflex Home, Size Manager, Reflex Workstation, Reflex Server, whatever you want. As you can see, you are uh, downloading the Reflex Home. So if you want to download this, of course, don't do anything. If you don't, just click on cancel download. As you can see, it will be downloaded. So click on save and wait until it's downloaded. Of course, you can download other products. You can start your free trial on every product that they have in here. And yeah, as you can see, once it's downloaded, once it's done, just go and click on that right here. And it will start the 
the installation on your PC. As simple as that. So click on yes and keep clicking on next. Change the language, of course, if you want to. And click on yes or next, as we said. And here, next also. I accept the terms. Make sure to read them if you want to. Click on next. The light skin ski, you don't need this because you are on your free trial. Next. And your trial will expire on this date. Next. Email address. Simply just go and enter that out. 222 at gmail.com. Next. You can install all of that. If you don't, you can remove them. For me, I'll just let everything click on next and install. And you'll have to wait for the installation until it's finished. Once it's finished, <coughs> You will need to open it up and start doing your things. So as you can see, finish. You must restart your system for the configuration changes made to Mac Room Reflect Home to take effect. Click yes to restart now or no if you plan to manually restart later. So for me, I'll just click on no. I don't want to I don't want it to restart right now. Because as you can see I'm recording. But for you, make sure to restart your PC to be good to go. Now I'll just go and open it up. So Macrium reflects. Just go and open the app. Yes. And yeah, so it's opening. Now we I'll just show you how to clone your Windows 10 or 11. It's the same, depending on whatever you have. So as you can see you can choose the light mode, dark mode, whatever you want. So let's see this. Uh I guess. Yeah, this is good. So here, what you'll need to do is simply, you will have to look for the drive that you, or the disk that you wanna like do the cloning or that you have the Windows on. Normally, as you can see, you'll find the logo of the Windows on it. Just this one for me. So what I'll need to do in here, of course, before even like doing anything, you can adjust the partition size. Optionally, you can adjust the partition size on the target drive before even cloning. Mar uh, Mark him Reflex allows you to resize partition to better fit the target drive uh, capacity. You can do this by dragging the partition boundaries or entering specific sizes. You will be able to do that. And of course, review the clone option to ensure everything is set up correctly. Double check the source and target drives as well as any partition adjustments you've made. Once satisfied, you now ready to clone so simply just go to those actions as an example so once we select this one as an example we find free space everything about it you can of course go here and click on create an image of the partition required backup and restore windows image selected disks on this computer or create a file and folder backup or click on action click on image here so whatever suits you so as an example image this partition only we don't need any of those options we need just the windows or that has the windows choose where you want to like clone it or you will well you want to have it back up then keep clicking on next so for me i'll just choose something random uh or let's just even give it i don't know i'll just give it a test name then click on next of course i did not enter any location so let me just go and type downloads in here so downloads, I don't know if it will find it. Click on next. Okay, the path is invalid. So you'll have to enter the right one. Of course, how you'll find it, just go and open that. And look maybe in here as an example, just go and click in here, click on copy address. Enter the address in here. So paste this in here as an example. Then keep clicking on next. Then click on finish. And the cloning will start. You'll have to wait until the cloning finish. Once it's finished, you'll be good to go. It will be cloned. You will find it, of course, on your uh, like destination that you have. And you'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.